Now it's on. Oh, we are immediately attacked by a... Oh, oh, oh. Good evening, everyone is here. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Man, this is the final uh, Odyssey livestream that I want to do because... Yeah, it's it simply ended in terms of support, sadly. Uh, and I could not have wished for a better start. But good that you are here. Uh, it's live, yes. Hey, Jor. Hey, B uh, Bart. Ben. Mamoon here, always already wa waiting as well. I just finished something else that uh, yeah was kind of delayed. So sadly, I had to uh, delay the stream a little bit as well. But thanks for everyone for sticking around while I'm fighting the turning tide. Oh, I don't. I have a lot of melee resistance, but uh, the fire damage is uh, is getting me. We we should be able to take it out like this. It's also, I have to be honest with you, been a while since I, I played Odyssey for the last time. Uh, played a lot of Borderlands, of course. Ah, there we go. Nice quick. Whoo! Good day, everyone is here. Peace, what's up? Hey, Eddie. Hey, Cheek. Hey, Bundo. Hey, Robbie. Hey, Atmosphere. Hey, uh, XP. Joe Zap is here too. Davey. Rainbow Six Bowser. Good that it's the final. It's time to move on to other games. Yeah. Um... I am kind of sad, of course, um, if they had more content, I would obviously play it. But um, at this point, we're also like a year from launch. Uh, it, it, of course, launched a year back. And uh, do we have maybe... No, it's, it's nothing. There, It's like, what, what are they going to add every Tuesday? We, of course, are going to check out Sargon. We're going to check the weekly because there is something interesting going on and we should learn more about it later today actually um and that is the bounty on the mercenary right yeah oh why can i not pick it up um because some people are reporting less or you call them than normal and there seems to be a new event going on this month as kind of a farewell to odyssey that will um yeah add a new mercenary or returning mercenary actually or ship every day that we can then kill so if you missed some of them, then this is a great month to uh, still get some of the pieces. Let's see what Sargon is selling. Hey, Apex Moments, what is up? Will you cover the next Assassin's Creed? I don't think so, man. I think uh, I'm kind of done uh, with Assassin's Creed after this one. Uh, I really wish they uh, would go back to uh, the uh, not-so-good combat. And um, yeah, th th that's what I hope. But um, of course, Vikings next year can't wait I mean we can all agree that the combat in Origins and Odyssey is better right still waiting for the mount yeah me, me too we of course still had that uh, purple unicorn kind of mount uh, with the wings that still haven't showed up and we should see it at one point I think uh, hopefully this month I mean it is the final month of content so you would think so right uh, hunter damage crit it's the the Abstergo belt uh, and the uh, the, um, yeah, one of the lieutenants that you don't need. Okay, it's a boring month, Sargon. Why? Why? Final stream. Um, and um, he doesn't really like it. Okay, let's see what the, what is up with that mercenary. Because it says that I cannot pick it up. Oh, I already, I still got a one. I still got one. So we're gonna kill that mercenary. Why not? Uh, where did you get that sword? So this is one of the swords that is, uh, it was added, or actually the sword. The only sword that was added later. Uh, you can get it at the blacksmith. So you have to just go to different blacksmiths and hope that you get lucky. Did I already miss it? Hmm, not sure if Odyssey is the best. Not sure Odyssey is the best game I've ever played. I think Red Redemption took a little... Took that title away. I mean, I was not talking about the fact that um, Odyssey was the best game I ever played. But um, I was comparing the uh, combat... With the previous Assassin's Creed games. Uh, where is... Oh, 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 undiscovered. Ooh. How... So we have to, like, fight a ton of mercenaries and then this one will show up? Is that how, it, how it's supposed to go? Or can we... Um, uh, maybe we can... No, we can't... Wow, that's strange. I never had that before. Okay. 
we're gonna cause some mayhem, I guess. And uh, by the way, this is also the final day you can enter for the uh, Myrmidon pack giveaway. I will uh, wear it right now. Um, so it's I will announce the winner tomorrow in my Odyssey video where I kind of go over all the October content. What is it again? Can I just hop on? Is that is that what it's called? We will find out eventually. Yeah, I think so. So if you want this pack, the link is in the description. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're getting there. I think we're getting there. And we want the... The mount. It's glitched. Okay, Mamoon. Yeah, I thought so. Normally you can just uh, go and uh, get the uh, and get the target. Maybe l let's just let's just uh, cause some mayhem then. Why not? It is showing on the map. It's already active. Just follow the quest marker. Ah. Okay, so oh, the quest marker will tell me. Okay. Let's see if I can still see the quest marker. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, everyone. That saves uh, us some time, and otherwise, maybe the mercenary would not have come. There we go. Oh. Oh. You're happy for the Last of Us, bro, uh, Sniper 5. Yeah, I am. I'm very happy that we finally got a release date for October or February 21st. I'm in October. It is just October. And uh, things are a little crazy. But uh, yeah, I'm happy. Uh, I really enjoyed the gameplay. I'm also in a boat where I'm like, give me the game. I pre-ordered the uh, Collector's Edition. And now I'm like, I I'm, I'm going to play it anyway. I'm going to enjoy it anyway. Um, Dragon Soul did a donation. It, are the, uh, is the uh, CL... Do we see like a donation? Let's see. Do it like this. Yeah, John donated that that's fake by the way okay um so dragon soul says what are your thoughts on the ghost recon breakpoint beta a lot of people are, are giving it negative reviews because of bug with the release only days away we don't want another fallout 76 situation so one thing i have to note is that i am already playing the game well actually a lot of people are playing in my friend list more than borderlands i think no the same okay interesting it's still early uh access by the way for breakpoint so, um, okay, yeah, so I I can totally see where people are coming from, but at one point it's like all the feedback that was gathered with the open beta, obviously they will not have that ready in the release, that is, literally it was one day, the server went offline for one day, and then um, the game went online for early access, because in New Zealand it of course released uh, 1 a.m. Central European time, where are you going? Mercenary, where are you going? Come here, horse. I don't... I'm not really a huge fan of the horse. But the armor is cool. Is it, by the way, is this, isn't this the lawgiver horse? Am I on the wrong horse? I am on the wrong horse. Man. Man, wow. Uh, this one. So, um, I totally get... It's kind of... The game, I feel is improving what you normally see also with for example the demo from fifa for example uh and betas for these types of games as well the day the the version that is released for the beta is actually a few weeks sometimes months old because that is like a version that they could yeah release out in the wild while the full version is already like on a separate i'm, I'm i don't really know the technical side obviously but i know that normally Oh wow, let, let, let's just watch it, watch this fight while I finish my story. Um, well, so normally the, um, the version, the beta that you play is way older than the full release. And I kind of see that as well. Sure, there are still weird things like uh, enemies getting out of a car and then standing on top of their car. Or the NPCs are just lifeless. The whole world is kind of meh. Goldion, thanks for the sub. So, I kind of get where people are coming from. It's far, far, far better than uh, Fallout 76. But uh, yeah, it's kind of easy to compare because that game also kind of had a... Um... Why did I have the fire damage? I'm not sure. Um, it, it also had a beta before that. So, 
I'm I'm enjoying myself. I'm just a sucker for these types of Ubisoft open world games, and I kind of like the uh, RPG elements or kind of have it. Oh, nice. That, that was fast. That was way too fast. Um, have it like implanted in Ghost Recon. I can see why people don't really like it, but I like the fact that I can go to every sort of location on the map and know that there will be a reward for me there. Wait, did we get 17 or Ecolcum? We did see that, right? Um, I see that Joyce is asking questions about the internship. Nice. Alan Gamer, thanks for the sub. So, w what I'm what I'm really worried about is the microtransactions right now. There are a lot of people that are already making videos about it, and I totally agree. Um, one of the biggest things that got me is that well, I'm just going to murder a ton of uh, Spartan guys. So if you're not familiar, the Ghost Recon, uh, the, the early access is live. So only people that bought the gold edition of the game. So $100, I think. Hey, thanks, uh, Animal. Ani, Anima Lol for the sub. So only the people that uh, bought like a very special edition of the game um, can play right now. The other people have to wait till Friday. Or if you are like on Uplay Access, then... I'm not sure how that is called, but y y you get it, right? That's the new subscription service from Ubisoft. So if you are there, then you can also play the the game already. But um, um, they already have like this huge microtransaction store, like everything you can think of. Um, weapons. So the pretty cool idea is that you first have to find weapons in the world, go to a camp, Kill, it's pretty well protected. Maybe there's like a huge tank uh, around it. And yeah, to, if you beat that, then you get this awesome blueprint that you can then like buy over and over again to get the weapon that you want, like with the rolls that you want. But you can also just pay money and get it. So that kind of that destroys the sort of purpose of having to go to this tank arena and buying it because other people that just spent fifty dollars got everything right um my biggest gripe is um uh thanks again dragon soul you're way too generous <laughs> well i'm glad you got you got to tag along for the ride during these live streams i understand if you want to move and i can't wait for what's in store yeah sure like um so I, to round out the Ghost Recon uh, sort of conversation, I'm enjoying myself. I'm not sure if I can recommend you the game for 60 bucks yet. It's really a live service game in that it will sort of like get better over time, hopefully. But uh, I will make videos on it. I got some... I, I just really enjoy myself get, uh, going to... Um, did, did we pick up the weekly quest? I think we did, right? Kill bandits. Okay, we're going to do that. Uh, I really uh, enjoy the game, like, figuring out how to get the best XP. Like, how, how do you level up fast? That's something I did in Ghost Recon, and I will do a video about it after this stream. So, that's kind of why I'm playing it right now. I will keep an eye on it. I do like what they're trying to do, but sort of the microtransactions are really bad, and I hope they uh, they change that. So, Dragon Soul, yeah, in, in terms of what's in store, like, this is the final Odyssey livestream because it's really... The end of the life cycle they will announce what the october content is if there is something awesome coming in october like something huge then i will obviously do a video on it and maybe a stream but for the weekly uh, tuesday streams uh i will not do them sadly again but i want to move my streams to twitch and i've said that many times before but i really have to start doing it soon because i want to talk with you guys as well is there any winner for in your ghost recon breakpoints uh, giveaway. Yes, uh, Richo. I gave the codes to the winner yesterday, so the person could still, uh, yeah, have the ultimate edition and play uh, at midnight. So yeah, the winner has been selected. Legend C says, "Hey, Giraptor. Hey, good that you are here." Um, again, a Myrmidon giveaway. Also, um, you still have a few hours. If you're watching the stream, just hit the link in the description, and I will pick a winner uh, tomorrow and then announce it during the video. From Odyssey that will be live tomorrow. Uh, what is new? So Thomas, uh, what they are doing right now? Because we saw the Oricalcum, right? Seventeen Oricalcum, pretty weird. Um, what they will do right now, uh, and they will announce it like what what their full plans are in a few in, in 
really soon. Um, and just talk about the October content in general. I will do a video about it tomorrow. But um, what they are going to do is like kind of bring back. Uh, what, what, let's say what they. Let's see what they announced. We're gonna have an epic event or something here. Epic encounters to celebrate the anniversary of Odyssey. We will be treating you to one epic encounter each day from October first through November fourth. So that's pretty cool. So. Um, we don't know if those are new uh, enemies or older ones. I think they will just have returning ones because in my interview with Bruno... Oh, damn it. I have to kill them with uh, Torch. Um, in my... Why am I unlocking that engraving? Okay. Um, so in my uh, in my interview with Bruno, he said that we, would, we should not expect any new mercenaries. So I expect them to be returning ones. But that is at least something you can do each day if you want. So maybe uh, get some, maybe get the sun hat again if if that mercenary or ship uh, or mercenary is returning. Hey Denzel, thanks for the sub. Or of course many of the ship designs. If you still want to get them, then uh, you can go and get them starting today. So tomorrow till November fourth, we uh, will get a yeah something we get every Tuesday, but then every day. I kind of like the idea. Have you heard uh, of the legend of the Ubisoft of Europe? Do you think? Hey Shepard, thanks for the donation there. Have you ever heard of the legends of the Ubisoft game universe? Do you think it could be true? I think you're talking about the fact that uh, all the Ubisoft games are in one universe, right? Because we, I think, um, what I think, uh, was it on in Origins that on Layla's computer in the modern day? We had uh, a photo of Aiden like standing on the on the street. That I think that was I think that was Origins, right? Or Syndicate. Either way. Um, so yeah, then the sort of yeah people started talking. Hey, is everything in the same universe? Would be awesome if they did fits like that. Right now, all we have is uh, um, the Assassin's Creed outfit in Game X or um, in, in Ghost Recon. You, for example, got this Odyssey emblem or. Um, you got um, the father from Far Cry emblem. I don't think that there's a universe. I think that it would be become way too more, much, uh, way too complicated if they did that. But uh, just teasing, kind of linking together games. I, I can see that. Um, then we also got another donation. Thanks again, uh, Common Sense TV. Will AC Vikings let us play Rengar, uh, Ragnar, uh, and Lagerta? Uh, I still need to. Uh, Kind of. Whoa. We only had. Oh, we had to do it with poison too. Uh, we still need. I still need to uh, kind of sharpen my uh, Viking knowledge. I of course know some basic stuff, but that's really about it. Um, but uh, I, I. I think we will create. Uh, I think they will have their fictional characters, but then we can interact with famous Vikings. I think they will do it like that again. So I think we will play uh, character X that they just. Yeah, make they they just put into that history, and then just like in Odyssey, we interact with historians or just people that were famous in that time. But we really don't know; it's all speculation at this point. I uh, want to do an Odyssey or an Assassin's Creed Kingdom. That's the code name. Um, video soon, by the way. Okay, uh, um, we are this. Then I I still need. Do I have it, it equipped? I think I think I do, right? Uh, 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 no, let's do it. Assassin Lupa, thank you for all your hard work streams, fits. They have been informative, fun time to move on for sure. Cannot wait for more. Also, let me know in the comment or in the chat. Um, thanks, this man, as well. Thanks for all your help. I appreciate it, guys. Uh, and thanks, Assassin Lupa, for your support. You're also very generous. I really appreciate the support. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm playing a lot of Borderlands 3 right now, doing a ton of videos on that, really enjoying the game, and it's also a fun game to cover. Actually, one of the first co-op games that I'm covering. Um, and um, we'll be doing, of course, uh, Breakpoints, and uh, I'm looking at uh, Death Stranding and Star Wars as well for later this year. But uh, 2020, man, don't get me started, it's going to be nuts. Uh, I honestly hope for a special guest like the Final Fantasy one in Origins, maybe a new mythical creature. 
don't expect too much dragon soul that that's uh kind of yeah i i kind of I, I of course hoped for I, I really wanted to see more with the mythical creatures i felt that they were pretty easy um and the reason behind this is that they really had to make the fights challenging but also that people were not getting fus frustrated by it but i think they then they, you always kind of lean more into the easy part and if they really had the hard modes uh creatures that they were toying around with then um yeah w they 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 had no excuse like then it was the hard mode so obviously it was going to be uh hard thanks navy for the sub you deserve it thanks assassin lupa how do you like breakpoint so i've been playing I, i've been like i went to bed like 3 a.m yesterday um because i was playing breakpoint i'm enjoying myself um it's hard to recommend the game i feel right now though um because it's really it, it feels like um ubisoft is really moving there are like they're really looking at technology of course they have big open worlds right in their games and they're really looking at technology now to kind of use ai and use uh, artificial intelligence and sort of um, ways to uh, fill out the world but kind of generate things so and th th that's kind of what what the world of, of breakpoint feels like uh, sure the the sort of areas are great but you kind of miss like you have this huge world and exploring sure you find chests that give you loot but i kind of miss this sort of adventure the sort of why do i want to go to this specific area why what is in this specific area that i can't get anywhere else apart from the different environments hamster thanks for the sub so i kind of feel that they went too much into the let's generate this world let's we have a ton of assets let's let the computer make uh cool locations that that's kind of how how the world feels and with odyssey like th this part of the th this part of the map was i think made by a different studio as well uh, um and you really see like it, it kind of felt different i really like the quest here the um the sort of it, it really m meant something to be here compared to for example the island where we met kira right i think that's here right so it, there were really like distinct areas and if you look back at that area you know oh yeah that's what i did there that's what i did there and i feel that ghost recon kind of lacks that at this point um and that's kind of the the um the thing that 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 is that is an easy trap for huge open world games um you want to fight? do you know if we can get the uh melena mount yet uh no but it was found in the files, so we should see it soon. I need to look at what I still need to do. I think I need the torches and the headshots. Okay. You want to fight? So, why are your, your enemies level 50? Because I'm not playing uh, this save on New Game Plus. Any other weekly streaming plans? Um, not right now, but maybe more uh, i, I want to move streaming a little bit to twitch too but uh, i will when i have like a dedicated plan when the kind of content um or when the uh, sort of releases kind of die down then i will uh, do more uh, then i will talk more about that but the focus for the channel has always been the has always been the i could have done that of course poison headshots <laughs> has always been on the videos uh, but i do like the streams as well too uh, so that, that's why a weekly stream was always nice. But I do like streams where there's really something new to check out. If I'm just here going, uh, uh, that, like playing for the sake of it, I don't know. It, it, it's at less, at, at less of a value. That's what I'm trying to say. But who knows? Do you recommend Borderlands 3? I've never played the other games. I would say go check out the other games. They are very cheap um, and see if you like them. Uh, I, I would say play two. See if you like them. If you are like after a few hours, oh man, I, I'm really into this. I want to continue to play. Then buy Borderlands 3 and play that because it's uh, like a better version in almost every way. Except for the story. 
in the writing. But yeah, I'm really enjoying myself and also like comparing that game to Ghost Recon in terms of how much content there is. I think Ghost Recon still has a ton of content, but it's mostly like the same sort of outpost. It doesn't really feel like a cool side quest or anything like that. But um then then I think yeah, then I think you got a pretty complete package and there are no microtransactions yet and they have free events planned, although I'm sure they will do some sort of monetization then, but they haven't talked about it yet. But um it's pretty wild. Milo's thanks for the sub to have a game like Borderlands 3 from Take Two, who's been known for um NBA 2K stuff, Rockstar uh stuff. Um they've been known for some pretty bad microtransactions that Borderlands is free of them. Do you know Jordan does? Yes, Thomas. I'm actually talking a lot with him as, as well and joining his uh, streams too. Uh, so Kane Show is your gear. So I'm right now rocking the 100% crit chance build. Thanks Care, Care Freak for the sub. And I'm doing the Sword of Kings right now. That's uh, it's just random. It's not really that focused, but it's like it has 100% oh, crit chance. Oh, where is it? Right? Yeah, 105 on full health, of course. Where are the achievements trophies for the Discovery Tour? Um, they never said that they would have them. It's a, it's a big miss, that's for sure, but they are not there. We have to kill some bandits with torches. Um, let's see where we need to go for some bandits. Um, kill Captain Cultist Guard. Captain again. Red Lake Bandits. I really like this area too. Like this is another example of an awesome area that is very different compared to the other areas in the game. So no actual new content. So what they're going to do, I will have a video about the October content up tomorrow. But um, they are going to uh, release a new mercenary and ship every day now. And we still have that horse. Hopefully we get that soon too. Yeah, just a new refresh. Like sometimes there's new content, sometimes it's a refresh. Nice left in your, we'll watch your videos later. See you. Hey Eternal, see you man. Um, have you put on the Abstergo belt yet? L I will do that now. So that's uh, right now for sale at Sargon, the Abstergo belt and a lieutenant should not carry on. Uh, Edward asks, you on the Destiny hype? I've been de playing Destiny for a very long time, but mostly the first one. With the second one, I I'm really, I really like um, enemy variety. Um, and for, for especially in games like... Um, Especially in games like um, looter shooters, where you're constantly shooting enemies. And in Destiny 2, they had no new enemy types compared to the first one. So that really bummed me out. Still played it, but um, yeah, I kind of fell off the bandwagon. And I'm happy that they're getting away from Activision and can really take their... Like, like do what, whatever they want, whatever they feel is best for the game. Go free to play, go on Steam, stuff like that. I feel that's uh, that's really great, and I'm curious. Uh, it will be interesting to follow because they're still a very interesting studio, and the game is very very solid. So uh, I hope they can uh, build it for the people that uh, play it. But for me, I'm like, I don't know. I, I've kind of been there. I may, might join back. I did get a code for Shadowkeep. It it does look interesting, but I'm also like, we're going back to the moon again. Are we going to fight? The Fallen again. I just want new enemies. I, I think I will likely try it again when uh, Destiny 3 releases. Like when they're really going for a head start. Why are there no bandits here? Oh, never mind. Is that a bandit? Yeah, I think it is. Why are you not making videos on the new Assassin's Creed game? Because there's nothing to talk about. And because I've been busy. So it's kind of actually... Um, there is, there is something we could talk about, um, but I've been, yeah, kind of just, I just want to, oh, there were a lot of bandits in the cave. Okay, interesting. I will do, I will of course do videos on it, for, for, especially when it gets revealed, but we're still so far away. So it kind of feels like, um, yeah, 
We're, we're not there. Oh, damn it. We're not there yet. Let's go for the headshots now. These are pirates, though. Like this part of the world. Like the, the red water. It's awesome. Oh. Is it blood, though? Maybe someone knows in the chat, but I think it is or not. Oh. This guy can take him. Oh, yeah, and now for the headshot. Oh, damn it. Yeah, we did get that one. I do like how they look different. Along with his sword, the shield was a gift. Okay. Oh, with the quest item still. <laughs> I like it. The back looks cool with a cool ride combination. Are you excited about the new Star Wars game? Yeah, I will totally do content on it. It looks awesome. Let's go back to Sargon. Oh, are we still in combat? Oh, we're in a bandit camp. I killed the Cyclops recently, but never got the weapon drop. What should I do? In the, in the Fate of Atlantis. I would like to know more about Ghost of Tsushima. Why nobody talks about it. It's really quiet. Because I really think they're uh, trying to fix it, release the game before the PlayStation 5 is out. So before fall 2020. It's of course, if you don't know, the Samurai game that Sony shows. The open world one from the infamous creators. I really think they um, still need a lot of work. And uh, yeah, they hope to get it out before the fall of 2020. But... Not sure if it if it if it's going to work because they were still looking for writers a few months ago, and if the game is coming out in a month or in a year, they still needed um, red clay. Okay, thanks, Ben. Um, can you go over the sword items again for me, please? Yes, I will go to Sargon now. If if I loved Anthem and Borderlands, should I play Destiny? Yes, you should. Uh, or um, you will love Destiny. But play two. Don't play one. Play two. I need the studio, but it's hard when your phone is like... <laughs> yep. I've been there. But man, it feels good to... Uh... I, I also completed this quest, but, it's th but I forgot to save or something. I had that with the other uh, one that we streamed as well. Okay, let's go to uh, Sargon. These bandits can have some rest. I think the story is the last thing that I do when making. Riding, yeah, that's right. Also in trailers, they mostly that it is true though. But if you're like having a, if you have like a big open world RPG game with side missions and stuff like that, then it's kind of important to know what the side mission contains because you want to build systems around that too, right? You would think. You're gonna play the new Ghost Recon? Yes, I've actually been playing, working on a video for after this. So, uh, it's the Lycur Ghost. I, I will equip the... I, I, I got him already. Lycur Ghost. Oh, there he is. Oh, it's from the Lawkeeper set? I'm not sure. And uh, the belt from... Uh, from the Abstergo guy. Um, some decent, Some decent gear. This is the belt that you can get. I'm going to record. Whoa. Nice. Okay. Let's go to our ship so we can see the lieutenant. Or state of play in December. I really think that with The Last of Us releasing in February that um, we will see the PlayStation 5 in May. I think after the Avengers game is out, we will, start, we will finally hear about the next-gen plans. I think that's also why you see all the games... Um, that were at E3 for 2020 are releasing in uh, the first half. I think this is the guy, right? I mean, I mean, if you want him on your ship, go ahead. Uh, I, I got this one, though. I'm totally fine with this one. And I think that uh, with this shot, it's a, a good ending to uh, the Odyssey Weekly live streams. I... Maybe maybe they will announce something with the October update, but if it's just the uh, weekly uh, mercenaries and stuff like that, then 
that's fine. Then, then, then there's no need to uh, stream it again. But uh, we will do other streams, other games, stuff like that. Um, final patch is released. No, they would have said it, I think, if the final... I think we still get uh, at least one update. You're honestly one of my favorite YouTubers. Uh, th thank you a lot. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, Danny. I appreciate that. Until next year, yes. But uh, in between, we got a ton of awesome games as well. No, I think they will... If, if the previous titles are any indication, we will hear about uh, the next screed in May. May 2020. Maybe some leaks before that. You never know. But... Um, I will, I will keep you up to date, obviously, here. I really can't wait to. I really felt that what, what, one kind of thing, um, what I really enjoyed was covering Odyssey before it came out. I really got access to the game a ton. Uh, I got to play a lot, recorded a lot. And I remember everyone saying, first of all, people were not sure if the game was going to be good. Sure, it looked a lot like Origins, but apart from that, I was like playing, I'm like, I really like this game, but... Of course, you can be skeptical. Um, and another thing they said is, you're spoiling everything. So I was talking about the mercenary system, showcasing some armor sets, showcasing some abilities. You're, and this game is like enormous. Uh, I played for 20 hours maybe before the release, but everyone's like, you're spoiling everything. I'm saying, I never, I don't do any quests. I never spoiled any quests. And then you you played the game and uh, it, was, it was funny to see that people, uh, Kind of stepped away from it. That's what I'm trying to say. Is Watch of Legion worth buying? We don't know yet. Because it's not released yet. Um, Odyssey or Origins. I always say Origins for the main story. And Odyssey for the post-launch. Looking forward to Breakpoint Star Wars. Gods and Monsters. I'll see you there. You're, I, we, will, we will totally see each other. Assassin Lupa. You almost get the next icon by the way. You now have this awesome uh, Star Lord Raptor. But you will get an upgraded one for sure. What the, the one that Dragon Soul is having. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about the future of Ubisoft games that are slowly becoming RPG style of games. Each series is slowly becoming the same. I totally agree with you, Dragon Souls. And I totally want to touch on that in a different video too. Uh, I'm, I'm enjoying the RPG elements in, in Assassin's Creed. I really feel that it makes sense for this series. Uh, it, it made me enjoy the series more. I know some people have different opinions, obviously. But... Um, yeah, I really enjoy what they created with Origins and then followed up with, with Odyssey. But, it's not, but in a lot of other games, it kind of feels more as a way to keep you entertained, to keep you grinding for the gear, instead of something that makes sense for that series. But um, it will be interesting to follow. But um, yeah, I will play Breakpoint more, see if it totally fits the, the, the series or not. And report back, of course, and we'll have some tips and tricks as you come to expect from me. So, hope everyone enjoyed these weekly live streams. I at least enjoyed them whenever I was able to do them. Um, Icarus enjoyed them too. Oh, oh, damn it! I wanted to give Icarus a a, a, a a something to eat, but uh, then we said still. Um, and uh, yeah, I will see you next time. Obviously, I will have an Odyssey video tomorrow talking about all the October content. So totally check that out. And then the Myrmidon pack giveaway winner will be announced. If you still haven't participated, check the link in the video description and you can check it out. Um, Cassandra is wearing Batman's... <laughs> yeah, it's from the uh, Abstergo pack. You can get it right now at Sargon. Uh, why can't AC be done open world with RPG but with stealth-oriented combat? I think they would argue that... I, I think we will see more stealth. I think they really learned from Odyssey. Um, and that they will incorporate more stealth, but they really are more about choice. They want to give you the choice to play stealth or go in swords blazing, go in just kill stuff, run in. Um, peace, have an amazing day, your thanks, Dragon Soul, thanks, uh, Aldri, Xova. Um, when are you going to make a Discord server? That's a good question. Um, when I'm not so super busy. Are you going to make videos for Watch of Legion? I already have videos up about Watch of Legion. We'll totally keep an eye on that. Bye till next year, you're no, 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 it says Lupa. You're not getting away from me that easy. Um, bye forever, no, 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 no. I will see you tomorrow in the Odyssey uh, video and uh, we will speak to each other next time, that's for sure. Keep it locked to the channel. Follow me on social media if you want to be up to date on more stuff I do. It's just your Raptor on Instagram and on Twitter. And uh, goodbye. While my feed is through the... Um, I don't know what, what's going on, but 
It kind of looks weird. Like if I'm on a, if I'm on waves, if I'm on, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but it looks kind of weird. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.